everybody, it's your boy, Fisk Cash Jack. Before I start this video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, stay up to date with all my motherfucking videos. Follow me on my social media, it will be in the description box below. Give the video a thumbs up, it doesn't cause you, I'm talking to you, a fucking penny. Helps the channel out, I really would appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up button, use all my fit links in the description box below without further ado. Let's get to the video. This is a video I've been wanting to make for a while now. So, do you need high testosterone to get stronger and bigger? All right. Pretty sure there's a lot of people that are lifting weights and they're like, man, my test is low or I feel like it's low or yada, yada. And uh, I'm here to give you the straight evidence that I have. It's anecdotal evidence. So it's my, my evidence. Take it with a grain of salt. Take it for what it is. But the answer is you do not need high testosterone to make strength gains or muscle mass gains. And I'm going to fucking hit you with some facts here. All right, my facts, my anecdotal evidence. I always thought, you know, testosterone was the end all be all. And um, I thought that's what made you get stronger and, uh, and bigger. And I'm here to tell you that I got my testosterone tested years ago, actually just last year, but I also got it tested a couple years ago when I ran across uh, that my, my testosterone was really low. But I was the strongest I've ever been, and I looked the biggest I've ever looked ever in my life. And it was the lowest testosterone I've ever had. So take these fucking results with a grain of salt. But here I am. I'm going to give it to you straight. Here it is, all right? So back in Jan 18, all right? Jan 18, I tested myself for testosterone, right? And as you can see, it was fucking low, all right? 228 nanograms per deciliter. Okay, January 8th. At first, I was like, there's something wrong. There's no way it's that low. So I tested myself again, January 24th. All right, January 24th. And it came back a little better. That was a couple weeks later. I'm like, okay, 290. It's a little better. I was right. It wasn't, it wasn't supposed to be that fucking low, right? 290, 290, 290 nanograms per deciliter that's still fucking low for a fucking 34 year old man right it is well, actually at the time i was uh 20 or i was 32 because i'm 34 now so 32 200 nanograms per deciliter look at those dates all right january 8th january 24th okay low as fuck now i'm gonna put up a posting that was just about a month earlier okay there's no way my testosterone was that much higher Look at that fucking, look at the gains that I look like right there. Look at that. Look how fucking big and swole I look. I mean, yeah, I had a good pump and everything, but does this look like a guy that's got 228 grams uh, per deciliter? Does it? I would say fucking no. Hell no, actually. I would say fucking hell no. All right? So, uh, I'm going to post up some videos. Um, here I am benching... 125s for what appears to be let's see one two three four five five reps pause reps all right the 125s all right and here i am doing 125s again looks like pump reps super short range of motion maybe 75 percent range of motion and i think i got these for like eight or nine maybe even ten does this look like a guy that's got low testosterone? 125 fucking pound dumbbells. Yeah, I'm not doing full range of motion, but I want to see you do one fucking rep with these fucking weights if you had 200 fucking 28 grams per deciliter of fucking testosterone, all right? There it is. Boom. All right, and I'm going to show you a clip of me just doing curls, all right? Look at that. I'm going to throw this in right now so you guys can see it. Does that look like a guy that's got low testosterone and he ain't making any gains? Does that look like a guy that's got low testosterone and ain't making gains? Look at the vascularity. Look at the fullness. Look at the fucking striations. Look at the fucking chest. Look at the muscle mass. Look at the fucking caps on the delts. Look at all that shit. Look at that. Are you fucking looking at it? That's fucking pretty damn decent. I ain't gonna lie. That's fucking pretty decent. All right. So, throwing in those clips, you can go to my Instagram at Opperman Fitness and you can see when I posted that shit. Now, I will say this. 
I don't remember if I posted it exactly like that day that I fucking made it. But I can tell you this, it was within a couple weeks that I posted that. And I'm pretty sure that that shit was posted in December of 2020 uh, or, no, I'm sorry, 2019, 2019. I think it was posted in December of 2019, which was only a couple months before I did these tests. So long story short, you don't need testosterone high to make gains or strength gains or size. Now, I also will put up the fact that, once again, I did another test. Uh, this was in January, February, March, April, May of 2021. And my testosterone was low again. Well, actually, it was the same, right? Because it went from 220, whatever it went to, 228 to 290, right? And then it went to 208. So it was still low in 2021. But as you can see in 2022, uh, what is that? July 4 fucking 80. And I'm going to tell you guys how I doubled my testosterone naturally. Naturally. It's going to be in another video, okay? It's going to be in another video. But I just want to post this video because I feel like there's a lot of people that think you need high testosterone, high absorbent, not absorbent, what's the word? High copious amounts of fucking testosterone to make gains and you just don't need it you need consistency diet mindset sleep and consistency strength programming uh you need all that shit okay that's what you need you don't need copious amounts of steroids or testosterone or anything crazy you could be fucking strong naturally all right i even have videos of me benching 315 for six reps and that was that was in 2019, I think, too, but it was like early in the year. And um I didn't I didn't put that up because it was it wasn't as close to that test that that's January 2020 test that I put up. So I wanted to put clips of me, how strong I was, and what I looked like when my test was considerably uh not healthy, low. Like literally clinically proven as low, right? So Fact of the matter is, this is antidotal evidence. Take it for what it is. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a motherfucker and a goddamn Toyota Prius. That's all I am. But I'm here to give it to you straight. And honestly, when I tested myself and it came back that low, I was floored. I thought I was going to be tested in the six to 700 range because I was like, dude, I'm strong as fuck for a natural guy. There's no way my test is low. And lo and behold, I tested twice within a same month and it was clinically low so and look at all those gains i had so guys fact of the matter is you just need to be consistent do everything on point and uh, you're gonna be just fine you're gonna be just fine i'm not to say that you don't need to get your testosterone in a healthy range because you do and that's why i got mine to 480 i wonder what it is now but i don't think it's gonna get much much higher than that because um i'm gonna tell you what i did to do it naturally and um doubling your testosterone naturally is pretty impressive in my opinion when i tested it and i and i came back that high i was like i was so happy that like all of the things that people say will work actually worked and uh i just hope it stays around that range now and it never goes back to that 200 range because that's just that's just considerably low and um it's not healthy so that's my thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys subscribe. If you guys are new to the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Usually I do reviews, but I do all kinds of shit over here. So click the subscribe button, like it, comment down below, all that good shit. We're progressing and never regressing and all that. I'll check you guys later. Yeah.